Hello, 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 Sir David the Bard. I'm up here on the uh, Hudson River, Hudson, New York, uh, coming over the bridge there, and uh, we got the the plane uh, windows open. Uh, l let me see if I can shut one of these windows here. Let's see here. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, hey. Yeah, let's turn the light. Hey, hey. Uh, anyway, I'm coming to you from Hudson, New York, Sir David the Bard, and uh, I'm flying. Now this is a true story. I'm not going to do this, okay? This is a true story. I got talking about my friend Bruce in the last video and, and some of the places we flew and some of the crazy things we did uh, when we were young. We uh, were flying uh, over the Hudson River one day, and uh, he said, uh, do you want to go down into New York? I said, hell yeah, I'm 18 years old. I got my garments son. I know that pilot that landed in the Hudson River uh, 35 years later, but go ahead. Let's let's go to New York. So we had this old tri-pacer uh, plane, and it was a fabric plane, and uh, it had one motor <laughs> that worked some of the time. So we're flying, I don't know, maybe 500 feet over the Hudson River, following the Hudson River down to uh, New York City. Well, there's a bridge down there. <laughs> Jesus. Now you got to remember, this was a time before terrorism. This was a time before police had helicopters. This was a time <laughs> when all the police in New York had loincloths and a bow and arrow. Well, anyway, I, what is that called? Well, I know Anna or, or Sir Girl will correct me somewhere. Um, it's the um, something bridge. It's a great big, huge bridge, I think, that connects... New York with Manhattan or something, but anyway, it's way up out of the water. But it was never made to fly under. <laughs> it was made like the Golden Gate to fly over. Well, anyway, Bruce says you want to go under it, uh, go down, and I said, hey, anyone that asked me to go down, I'm going down. <laughs> so we flew under that bridge. I want to say Oakland Bay, but that's in San Francisco. Anyway, correct me. Tell me what the name of that damn bridge is. And on the other side of the bridge. Here is uh, the Statue of Liberty over to the left on uh, Liberty Island or Ellis Island, I forget. And he says, do you want to fly around the statue? I said, That's bitching, yeah. How many people have flown a couple of circles around the statue? Now, Bruce is not one for a halfway job. <laughs> I could have reached out the damn window and slapped her in the face. Like 10 feet off the Statue of Liberty. We're going round and round. No police, no helicopters. It never occurred to us. It never occurred to us. And so we flew around and round and, and we could see, at the, we'd go lower and we could see the base of the statue. I've been in the Statue of Liberty once uh, when I was younger. There's a staircase in there and you can go out and look out the very top of her hat there. And uh, that was fun, and that's been closed for years, I guess. I don't know if it's open again or not. But anyway, I just wanted to share with you one of the bar's uh, <laughs> lasting experiences. I flew around the Statue of Liberty at 10 feet around and around and around off of her face and her torch. Uh, you know, I could have lit her torch. <laughs> I've lit a lot of girls' torches over 66 years, but this was a big girl. This was a big girl. So anyway, there's the Bard story on the Statue of Liberty. Thanks.